Curtis, 2-1, another trophy, another FA Cup win, 14 now in total. And this one was a great one, um, especially for the manager of Arteta, Anna Bamiang, to see him lift that trophy. I mean, wow, that was an incredible performance. I mean, our number 14, he led us to number 14 FA Cup. Historic moment, man. We've got to pay him whatever he wants. That second goal is one of them moments where in like five, ten years, that's going to be on adverts. Because, you know, I thought Zuma was like dancing on ice or something. The man was spinning around it. When he chipped the goalkeeper, I just thought, what a player Quality. this guy. How lucky are we to have this guy at our football club? And the biggest sign in this summer for me is giving him a new contract. That is a guy we need to build our team around. Um, the spirit, the attitude of the team, you know, five minutes, one nil down. Honestly, I was sitting there thinking this is back all over again. But I have to admit, the players, they bounced back. They showed a lot of fight. I thought Danny Ceballos was excellent for me today. You know, he didn't hide. Cup finals for me are about stand up and be counted. Ceballos wanted the ball. He was always looking for it. Pepe's had, you know, up and down season. But today he stood up, had Alonso on toast for me. You know, he set the second goal up. He was dangerous the whole game. You know, Aubameyang's penalty as well, the composure. You know, I remember he missed that penalty against Tottenham at Wembley. At Wembley so yeah. Takes a lot of nerves to just set slot that in the corner you know the defense were good apart from the goal and you know Arteta I questioned Arteta at times this season I'm not going to say he's the be all and end all but he showed a spirit and put it into this team and you can see that they believe in what he wants if you come in as a new manager the first thing you want to do right is aim towards winning trophies and to do it so quickly you know in your first, well not even you can't even call it a full season you ain't even had a full season and to do it is an amazing thing for him. I mean, as Tottenham know, winning trophies ain't for everyone, is it? You know, so um, Arteta, no, but the main thing is what we do from here. You know, we, we've won the FA Cup before and then haven't done anything. The Cronkies have to back Arteta this summer. You know, we're being linked with Partey and Coutinho and all these players. We have to go into the market and spend big, but today for me, you know, it's one of the best days I've had in years. As an Arsenal fan, this has probably been the hardest season we've had in a long, long time. So. To come out of it with an FA Cup and, and beating Chelsea, a rival in the final. Nice to see Giroud, you know, after he mugged us off in Baku on the losing team. But we have to build from here. It's been a great day. We're going to celebrate tonight. And uh, big up Robbie for all his work this season, man. It ain't been easy, has it? But we'll enjoy it tonight. We'll celebrate, man. Brilliant, man. Cheers. Cool. Robbie here from AFTV. We just got to say a big thank you to everybody who follows us across our various channels. Over a million followers on YouTube. Don't forget, you can now also catch us on Reddit. We're on Reddit, so get involved with us on Reddit and also on TikTok. Keep it AFTV, baby, right here.